The University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture's Foundation Seed Program will help ensure rice farmers have higher yielding, quality rice varieties to meet growing world demand. Marvin Hare, Chairman of the Arkansas Rice Research and Promotion Board, presented Dr. Mark Cochran, Vice President for Agriculture with the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture, a $2 million check to help in construction of a new Foundation Seed facility. The facility will be built near the Rice Research and Extension Center in Stuttgart. The Foundation Seed Program is important to the success of rice growers in Arkansas and across the country. We'll be able to handle 25 different varieties from our rice, soybean, and wheat breeding programs off of it. This will help with bringing the types of genetics that our farmers need to grow to be uh, profitable and to meet worldwide demand. So we're, we're excited about the, how this will interface with our breeding program to where we can bring high yielding varieties to the marketplace, but we also are very interested in making sure that we have the quality of rice that's going to be demanded within the world and really get that reputation of Mid-South rice to where it needs to be. The $2 million donation came from tariff rate quota, or TRQ, funds obtained by the Promotion Board through the free trade agreement between the United States and Colombia. All funds generated through the TRQ are used to advance research for the industry. This is an extension of our commitment to the rice breeding program and all the uh, uh, fertility uh, pathology research that we fund for the, the rice farmers of Arkansas. The breeding program is uh, the foundation of all the research that we fund. And to, to develop higher yielding varieties with better disease resistance, and to keep those lines pure and to make sure that seed is, is the best seed possible for our farmers, we need a good plant to run it through and clean it and process it and, and make it available to the, to the seed growers. Arkansas produces more than half of the rice grown in the U.S. Carl Brothers, Senior Vice President and Chief Operating Officer for Riceland Foods, calls it an important day for the rice industry in the state. It's actually, in my view, a once-in-a-life opportunity to uh, promote research on rice and to get us ahead in, in the United States in rice production, quality of rice, uh, and, and also just uh, being able to produce rice as competitively as we need to be to compete with the rest of the world. So it, it is really a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Ground will be broken on the new Foundation Seed Facility this summer and is expected to be operational within a year. <laughs>